Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to use some new vinyl from Slide Hustle Etsy Shop to create this really simple tumbler design. I started using Slide Hustle in my tutorials last year and since they have switched over from using water slides to creating beautiful pieces of printed vinyl in white and clear and they also have some beautiful spot white decal designs which means that the decal itself or the image itself is printed over white ink with a clear background so you can put it on any base color and it will show up beautifully they have an in-house artist which is incredibly talented and she makes very beautiful designs that you can't get anywhere else they're all original so definitely check out all of their unique designs and also thursdays is ladies night so you want to make sure that you're part of their facebook group so you can take advantage of the sales that they have every thursday all right so we have a prepped 32 ounce plump from the steel magnolia the prepped tumblers have the paint go all the way up to the rim. I just sanded that down just a little bit because I don't want that white to go all the way up to the rim. I want the stainless below to be a little exposed at the top of my vinyl. I trimmed my vinyl, then cut off just a little bit of that backing so I can line it up perfectly on my tumbler. Put that into place and then work the vinyl around the tumbler with my squeegee tool while I'm pressing the backing off. This vinyl has shiplap as the background, so I just use that as a guide to trim off the excess vinyl and remove it on top and underneath my seam. Here on the bottom, I pulled the vinyl around that edge, just really sloppy trimmed it off the bottom because I have my Kimmy Page Boutique vinyl trimmer tool. I'm going to put this on the lowest adjustment, spin my tumbler around that a couple of times, and bam, you have a perfect line around the bottom. We're going to take some painter's tape and tape off around the edge of the vinyl on the bottom of the tumbler so that we can paint a nice color that's going to match our vinyl just in case I wanted to leave it solid. In the end, I do end up adding some glitter to it. So technically, the white wouldn't have really mattered since there's white in our vinyl. Duh, Brittany. So anyway, if you want to leave your bottom a solid color instead of putting glitter over it and having to sand around that bottom rim, just paint it a pretty color that's going to match your design. I'm using a makeup brush and we're going to do two coats of mauve from Colorflex. We're using three different glitters on this tumbler, Capella and Eucalyptus from PDB Creative Studio and Passion Flower from Colorflex. To apply these glitters, instead of using a glitter glue or epoxy, I'm going to use this full glue from Southern Belle Glitter. I really like using this glue because you apply it, then you can dry it up with your heat gun. It's so tacky that it's really going to grab a hold of that glitter and then you can immediately go into sealing. So it's a really huge save whenever I'm kind of crunched for time on getting a tumbler done and the quality is still the same as if I was to use epoxy or a glitter glue. I'm wanting somewhat fine lines so I am using a small paintbrush to add on just lines or stripes of this glue going along with the wood grain on the vinyl design. We're going to do one glitter at a time. So after I finish adding on those first lines, I'm going to dry that up on the low heat setting with my heat gun and then add on our first glitter.
Use your hand or a chip brush would probably have worked better to dust off any excess glitter that's on your tumbler. And then you can go in and repeat those same steps for your final two colors.
I could have left it just like this, but I decided to add on some of this glue to the bottom of the tumbler so that I can do a combination of all three glitters on the bottom. And again, since our glue is dry, it's a tacky glue, we can immediately go in to sealing this up with some Rust-Oleum clear spray paint. And then give it two layers of epoxy sanding in between so that we can prep it to add on our decals. You want to add your decals on top of a glossy surface, so make sure you don't sand. And since this is such a busy pattern, I want to break it up by putting on a bleach spot. This really helps set the decal out or make it stand out from the design itself. This one is from Gracefully Created and I'm using a semi-transparent so it does look a little bit more realistic like I spray painted it on here and allow our beautiful vinyl design to show through. Now, when you are layering vinyl decals, or if you're putting a clear cast decal or a spot white decal on top of another, you want to make sure that you have a layer of epoxy in between. As you can see, I took a very small amount of epoxy and put it directly over my decal. I did not epoxy my entire tumbler just over the decal that I put on here. No worries, epoxy is self-leveling. So as long as we're just doing one really thin coat, our next coat of epoxy will level everything out. The decal, of course, would have stood out beautifully from the vinyl itself if I were to put it directly on top since it is printed over white. However, like I said, it's a really busy pattern and I wanted to do something to make that decal pop on the front. And using that bleach spot decal or spray painting one on it yourself will definitely help do just that. After my decal is added on, it's time to add on our final two layers of epoxy. Of course, I'm adding in filter from Colorflex to my first of final two coats to give it some extra sparkle. I feel like this is a really simple design that's great for beginners or if you're trying to get a few cups ready for a sale or a ready to ship spring drop, this is perfect. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll answer them as quickly as possible. All materials that I have used will be listed down in the description below as well as some coupon codes for you. Also, don't forget to join Brittany Barnes Boutique Tumblr Art Group and Slide Hustle Facebook Group so that you can be notified anytime new designs are available and take advantage of those ladies night on Thursday. I hope you all have enjoyed this simple tutorial. That is all for today. Thank you all so much and we will see you next time.